Hello everyone. Welcome back to the series. I am Shilvishan Kandera and today we are going to discuss about the syllabus of CCAD exam. Today we are going to discuss about the operating system syllabus uh, and in the end we'll also discuss about some questions as well. So for that let me share my screen. This is the uh, syllabus of CCAD exam wherein you can see there are uh, three sections of uh, section A, section B and section C uh, and we are more, uh, going to focus on section B wherein we are uh, focusing on operating systems and networking part. So let's go ahead with that. Uh, this is the section B where operating systems is one of the important topic and if you are talking about operating system we can at least expect up to eight questions or maybe more than that. Uh, there are several topics that are listed below which comes under operating systems. Uh, so the first part is introduction wherein uh, there is a OS basics and boot process. Then the second part is process management. In that we have process states, PCB, scheduling algorithm and date locks. In the memory management, we have paging, segmentation and virtual memory. In file system, we have architecture, allocation methods and schedule. In network basics, we have OSI model and TCP IP protocol. So in the introduction part, in OS basics, we can expect the questions related to your operating systems basics like what, what is an OS, why it is used and what are the different types of OS we can use. Then in boot process, we can uh, we can expect the questions from boot process, like boot process, what are the different stages of boot process, how boot process occurs and what are the stages of the boot process. In the section of process management, we can expect the questions like what is process, process life cycle, states and uh, states of the process, process control block and its roles, what process, uh, what process control block we use for, what are the different type of uh, scheduling algorithms are there, like there are certain types of like FCFS, like first come first serve, then shortage of next, SJN, uh, priority uh, scheduling is there, then round robin is there. Uh, we can expect some of the snippet, snippet question as well from this uh, particular section. Uh, then we have deadlock. We can expect uh, questions from deadlock like what is deadlock? What are the conditions for deadlock? Such as mutual exclusion and uh, higher hold and wait, etc. And then we have uh, some of the other questions of, about deadlock is that uh, how we can avoid it, how we can recover the deadlock. Then uh, we have memory management. In memory management section, uh, we can expect the questions like what is paging and segmentation? What are the differences between them? In virtual memory section, we can uh, we can expect the questions from concepts of uh, like demand paging and page replacement algorithms. Uh, we can expect some of the uh, snippet based questions like uh, solvable questions can be there. In file system, we can expect what are the type different types of uh, architectures of the file systems. Then what are the techniques to manage the disk store? And we can possibly have the questions like algorithm questions uh, on the disk scheduling side. Then in network basics, we can expect the questions of OSI layers. Uh, what are the different layers that are there in OSI model? Then what is the TCP IP protocol? What comes under this protocol? Like some of like ARP, TCP, FTP and DNA. Now that we have discussed about the syllabus, let's go ahead and check some MCQ. So for the OS basics, we have uh, this particular MCQ. Uh, you can expect some uh, questions regarding the similar level of the questions. Uh, the question goes like, which component of the boot process is responsible for initializing the hardware abstraction layer, that is HA. And the options are bootloader, kernel, bias and operating system shell. So I guess you guys have already answered this particular question and the answer is bootloader. Now we have the questions regarding process management, uh, the question is which of the following is not a valid process state. So there are several states of a process. Uh, so the options are new, ready, suspended and closed. Think about it, uh, which is a not valid process state. So here the answer is closed as closed is not a valid process state. Uh, in this particular section, you can expect some of the snippets questions like uh, the questions you will be solving with your pen and paper. Uh, you can expect some of the process management questions in this. Then there is a memory management section. Uh, we have a question uh, in paging the mapping of the logical address to physical address is done using a. So the options are translation, leukocyte buffer, page table, frame table and segment table. So the answer for this particular question is page table. I hope you have already commented the answer before me showing that. Uh, now let's move to the next question. Also, 
uh, you can also expect some of the questions regarding the snippets that we have discussed before in the process management as well in the memory management as well you can expect the same questions uh, where we need to write the answers in the pen and paper solve the answers in the pen and paper and then we have to tick the correct one in file systems we can uh, have we can have some questions something like this uh, which of the following is not a file allocation method so i have already told that uh, there are different types of file allocation methods uh, on that particular thing you can expect the questions so here are the options for this a contiguous allocation linked allocation index allocation and segmented allocation hope you are already know the answer the answer is segmented allocation it it is not a file allocation method. then we have some network basics questions the questions will be like this the data communication system within a building or campus is the options are lan wan man none of the mention so uh, for communication within the building we most of the time need lan which is a correct answer we are done with this particular section thank you everyone i hope you have understood how the operating system section will be there in your ccat examination uh, do like share and subscribe the channel also follow this uh, particular series for further updates don't forget to check the description box below for the all the important links that are mentioned